Yeah, this school is the most stupid concept actually, which exists. Oh, I'm so afraid of failure. I don't like to do mistakes. Hey, what's cooking guys? This is Marcel from Slamming It Out and thank you for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in and I hope everybody had an enjoyable Christmas, yeah. And yeah, hope hopefully you received many gifts. Uh, let me know uh, what you have received from Santa Claus. Um, yeah, let's uh, jump right into uh, this video of today. Today I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, lesson number seven of my 11 life lessons I'm gonna share in this mini video series here with you. And today's lesson is all about failure. Yeah. Um, by the way, failure, I have a three part video series uh, on my channel uh, released a few uh, weeks slash months ago. You can find this link right here in the, in the corner. So in this mini video series, I'm uh, in, in this three part uh, video series, I'm, I'm really uh, hammering on uh, a failure and I talk a lot about uh, uh, the concept of failure and uh, different techniques and share with you uh, uh, tricks, tips and other tools how to look at failure, different things. So in this video, since it, since it is um, an 11 part video series about my 11 life lessons I have learned. So in this video, I'm gonna shortly uh, introduce the concept of failure to you. If you are more interested, then of course, please go watch my my uh, three part series, which is on my YouTube channel. So here's the story. Um, and by the way, the story I also share with you in my book, which is available on Amazon and Kindle. Yeah. Uh, and I shared the story also in uh, other YouTube videos already because I think it's still worth sharing. So that's why I'm sharing it today. A few years ago, I moved to the Philippines. I was very motivated and eager and keen and um, enthusiastic to start my own business. And I found some people there right away who were willing, who were willing to meet me and to help me and to support me. And they liked my business idea and everything. So we got together, I invested some money and then, yeah, long story short, after a few months, it turned out that, um, yeah, um, I met kind of the wrong people. I have to say that just to give you a little bit of a context, because if I just say, yeah, I started a business and then uh, it failed, you know, what does it say? Actually nothing. I mean, so I want to give you a little bit of context. So that uh, it, it was indeed the case that I met uh, dishonest people. So I'm not saying, of course, that Philippine, Filipino people are dishonest people. I, we also have dishonest people in Germany and any other countries. But in that case, I moved to the Philippines. I met uh, some promising people, but some of them turned out to be not so promising, okay? So long story short, I failed with my business, okay? And, uh, so I lost a lot of money and I lost um, my mood. I lost my, my spirit, you know, I was uh, upset, frustrated and very angry, I can tell you, you know. As everybody would feel if you are getting betrayed by somebody and you trusted this person, you know, I put all my trust in this person, but you know, never mind. I also, I, I did not only lose uh, some money, but I also gained actually something. You know, I learned a great lesson. I, I, learned, I actually learned many different small and little lessons, but this was of course at the end of the day, a great lesson, which I have learned. And of course, at the, at the time when I all, when I experienced all this, it did not feel like a great lesson or something I gained, you know, because you're emotionally uh, kind of damage, you know, um, a lot of emotion. You are very emotional, you know, and uh, you're not just uh, say, oh, okay, uh, fine, I lost uh, a lot of money and now, oh, this is a good thing I learned something. It's not like that. So this, this insight, of course, came months later only, you know, but I was actually able to, to, uh, able to, to look at, at this 
particular failure situation it's something positive so and now a few years later even much more so what i want to talk to you about what i want to let you know what i want to let you know today is that failure is a detour but it's not a dead end okay failure is a detour but not a dead end yeah I'm pretty sure you can agree with me on that if you really think it through. Even it feels like a dead end. You know, like when I lost all my money. I also didn't know what to do. It felt like a dead end. And I had to come up with another solution because I needed to make money again. So I needed to become very flexible, creative, you know. And I did not just stop. I kept moving forward. Yeah. I refocused myself. Yeah. We talked about focus in part number five, you know, and go watch this video if you want to know about focus. And uh, I kept moving. So I refocused myself and I kept moving forward. I had to kick my own ass, my own butt. I had to push myself and I kept moving forward. This is where we talked about in the last video here. You can check it out right, right there. And um, that's how I continued, you know, and that was the story, the business story in the Philippines. So what else can I say about failure? So yeah, failure is a detour, but not a dead end, yeah, which I, I find actually a great, a, a great insight, okay. Um, I'm a chef, yeah, so kitchen work is really a lot like um, uh, failing, failing forward, which I also like to say, you know, failing forward, you're moving forward, you know, by failing, you learn something. So in the kitchen, you know, especially with baking, for example, but also cooking, you know, there's a lot of trial and error involved. And this is what failure actually is all about. It is a trial and error, you know, you try something, it didn't work. It is not working out. It's like in the kitchen, you know, as, as, as chefs, a lot of great recipes, which are now world famous, you know, how they came into place, not because there was a very smart chef and this chef 200 years ago was brainstorming uh, some great and fantastic, yummy, tasty recipes. No, 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 no. That's not how it works in the kitchen. For those of you who cook, they know what I'm talking about. Many things in the kitchen happen simply by error and not even intentionally, you know, unintentionally. And this is, uh, this is all about experimenting. Sometimes you experiment with something, you work days and sometimes weeks on the perfect recipe, but nothing is working out. Then you say, ah, damn it. Uh, and you throw everything away and then you uh, go over to the next project. But sometimes also, you do not intentionally experiment on with some recipe in the kitchen. You just do something and you play around or maybe you are, you, you are um, following a certain recipe, which you know already, but then something happens. Maybe you get distracted by somebody and then you throw a different ingredient, but then it turns out accidentally, wow, uh, instead of, I don't know, paprika powder you added some chili powder and it comes out really good because it's a little bit more spicy this is what what's going on in the kitchen there's a lot of trial and error you know it's like experimenting and this is how we should look at failure also you know failing is if you uh, replace the word failing with experimenting then it becomes a complete different story like in the school when we had chemistry lessons, you know, when the chemistry teacher was uh, doing his or her experiments, you know, this is what, what trial and error is, you know, this is what life is about. You always try new things and you should try new things. If you get too scared to try new things, then you will never move forward in your life. You will never achieve your goals. You will never make progress. That's guarantee. I guarantee you this, okay? So in order to move forward, you need to fail forward. Failing slash mistakes, 
yeah, which belong together. It's all about learning and becoming smarter, you know. That's what failing is about, even it is not feeling this way, I know. What's the, and why is it, you know, because in school when we were first graders and second graders and third graders, it really sucked being in school because you're constantly being taught like not to do mistakes, you know, if you do a mistake in school, you get bad grades. Yeah, this school is the most stupid concept actually, which exists. And we as young children get conditioned yeah, not to do mistakes. We are conditioned to look at mistakes as something bad, as something negative. If you flunk, if you made a mistake, if you make a mistake in school or you flunk out of school, you, 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 make, you make a mistake in school, you get a bad grade and the bad grade is not helping you. You might flunk, you know. So, and this is what we pick up as young children. We get conditioned. We believe doing mistakes is something bad. And that's why this is one of the big contributors why we are thinking today so negatively about failure and mistake. We are literally afraid of doing mistakes. It's actually something human because we got conditioned this way. But in reality, it is the opposite. So we, it's, it, it's going to be a very long process to recondition our mind, yeah, to rewire our brain. And it will take it will take a long time. I know what I'm talking about, but first we have to understand this concept of failure and mistakes. We have to logically understand that actually we should do more mistakes if we want to learn. And if uh, we want to learn faster, then we have to do mistakes more often and more faster. It's like a like an entrepreneur, you know, uh, an entrepreneur who starts a new business and he doesn't know much about the business, he needs to actually uh, do a lot of mistakes and he, need, he needs to do it quickly in order to learn. Yeah? And the, another reason why we are afraid of, uh, why we are being afraid of failure is um, that when we start a new project, uh, so let's, stay, let's stick with the business example, if we start a new business, of course we don't know where we will end up, we don't know what the outcome will be, Will we be successful? Will we, are we be, will we be failing? We don't know. It is a new project, therefore there's a lot of uncertainty in the room. Yeah? And we human beings, we are craving for safety, security and certainty. This is one of the basic human needs. We need certainty in order to survive. So that's why many people just go for a normal day-to-day -day job, a nine-to-five job, because it's actually a relatively safe and secure uh, a thing, because they know they work from nine to five. In the kitchen, uh, it's unfortunately not the case. You work from nine to nine. Uh, you get your monthly salary at the end of the month. It's, it's pretty predictable. It's pretty certain, you know. And uh, But when you become an entrepreneur, it's the opposite. You, you have no uh, steady income. You just have costs. You don't know what's 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 happening. You know, it's uh, the uh, terrain of uncertainty, and uh, that requires a lot of um, emotional labor, and uh, it requires the willingness to make mistakes on purpose and not be not to be afraid of doing mistakes and uh, to fail your way forward. Not this is not for everybody. I understand. Yeah, most of the people they prefer the certain, the safe, and the secure way. But if you really want to pull off something, if you really want to pull off something in life, then you have to change your mindset, and you need to be willing to get out of your comfort zone, and you need to start to think about failure and mistakes in a different way. If you want to become more successful and to, if you want to uh, achieve your goals, okay? Now, with that being said, I'm checking out for today. But before I do that, I want to wish you a very happy new year 2021. 
Now, I will not lose too many words about the year 2020. We all know what kind of year that was, okay? And this is apparently how life is, yeah? Now, there you have the proof. Life is like a roller coaster. And this past year, 2020, was really like a crazy roller coaster. And uh, to be very honest, I also don't want to experience something like this again in my life. But unfortunately, we do not have control over this, okay? Um, of course, I'm an optimistic person and I hope and I strongly wish that uh, the next year, 2021, will be a better year in any aspect, in every aspect, of course, okay? We need to move forward. We need to we need to kind of dig ourselves out of this mess we are in, even if it's not our fault. But uh, therefore, my video, my video series here, I'm also, excuse me, I'm also doing this to, to support you, to give mental support, emotional support, and um, psychological and even spiritual support. Yeah, this is what we are in now. We are in a roller coaster, and uh, this is also what I write in my book. You know, my I, I call my book the roller coaster through life and kitchen. You know, so. Long story short, I wish you a very happy and successful and healthy New Year 2021. I also would like to thank everybody who watches my videos, who likes my videos, who shares these videos and everybody who subscribed and will subscribe to my videos. But of course, I also um, uh, wish everybody else a happy new year thanks for supporting this channel even uh, we are a very still a very small channel but the good news is um, over the past year and I actually uh, started this channel uh, last year December um, so the channel is now one year old it's actually my first anniversary so we are still a very small channel we have close over 200 subscribers but these 200 subscribers are a very strong community all organically uh, gained yeah i didn't pay anybody to come on board yeah and all these other tricks what other youtubers do i'm not doing these kind of tricks i i think i don't think it's necessary for me i think the content which i'm providing here is uh, valuable if you see it the same way and of course, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions. If you want to get in touch with me, then please use the comment sections. Let me know. I'm eager and keen and willing to, to chat with you and to uh, get in touch with you and to interact with you. Also, in, my com in the comment sections below, you can find two links. The first link is for my uh, Udemy online class, Nine Leadership Principles for Becoming a powerful team leader and link number two also another class namely a master class my persuasion master class persuasion in a world where influence matters and i can tell you influence really matters if you master the influence techniques which i talk about in this online class you will be way better off and you will have a great advantage over other people. Not only that, you uh, will learn about influencing techniques and also manipulation techniques, which are constantly applied every single day by everybody around you to manipulate you, especially from the marketing side and the advertising side, advertisement industry. So if you are aware of these manipulation techniques and influencing techniques, and you have a much better stand. And this always also applies, of course, for the next year, 2021. Nothing will change with that. Influencing techniques remain the same. So thank you for your support. And before I forget this, check the links out from time to time because I will run promotions usually once a month. Uh, I will run uh, promotions. So that means I will give away these courses for free. Yeah? 
My two online classes uh, are then usually available, available for three days in a row for free. That means you do not have to pay a single cent, but you uh, um, get the advantage uh, to learn something for free. And we all need to learn something, right? Also in the next year, it's the time for learning now. It's the time for change. It's uh, the, the people who learn a new skill, a special skill, who are, will be standing out, therefore, from the crowd. These people will gonna make it and these people will be successful also in the year 2021. So with that being said, um, I hope you have a great New Year celebration. Stay healthy, stay safe and don't forget always and also in 20, 2021, always keep slamming it out. Take care. Bye-bye and a happy new year 2021 to all of you.